वेलकम टू दिस सेशन हियर आई एम ट्राइंग टू डिलीवर यू अ वीडियो ऑन कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री सो द टास्क इज दैट देर इज अ ट्राइंगल अ जनरल ट्राइंगल वर्टाइसेस आर ए एक्स वन कॉमा वाई वन बी एक्स टू कॉमा वाई टू एंड सी एक्स थ्री कॉमा वाई टू हियर वी are trying to decide coordinates of in center of the triangle so we have this angle by sector over here we have this angle by sector over here and we have this angle by sector over here so this will be shown by some other because this and this are not congruent so uh this is the in center i and we are trying to get coordinates of i in terms of a b and c means in terms of coordinates of a b and c so this is a long task and we are not going to make use of any ready made formula we are going to find it out from very basic principles so now let us first to achieve this task the first step will be getting equation of get getting formula for distance of a point from a given line so this given line say it is a x1 plus b y 1 plus c is equal to 0 and this given point is sorry this is a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0 is the given line and x 1 comma y 1 is the given point and we are supposed to find out distance of this point from this line obviously distance means perpendicular distance this video is meant for class 8 class 9 children for iit foundation program so i want them not to go after mugging formula without understanding that is why we are developing this very carefully so first of all beginners get confused what is exactly distance of a point from a line and so you have to make sure that it is perpendicular distance so this is the length of this segment and we don't know we want to so how how we will do that there can be various approaches but the simplest approach is find out 
equation of this line first then solve two simultaneous equations and get coordinates of this point and then find out use distance formula and find out distance between these two points and that is what we require so how will you write equation of a line perpendicular to this line and passing through this point it is very simple this equation is x plus by plus c is equal to 0 and now the new equation will be bx minus ay minus bracket bx1 minus ay1 bracket complete is equal to 0. Now how, how do we get this equation? It is very simple. Slope of a per, uh, two perpendicular lines we i suppose we have proved it earlier slopes of two perpendicular lines if they are m1 and m2 then their product is minus one so that is the condition for perpendicularity and uh, slope of this ax plus by plus c is equal to zero is minus a upon b so obviously the slope of perpendicular line is b upon a and we are using this slope b upon a so the equation will be in the form of bx minus ay plus k is equal to zero it passes through this point x1 comma y1 so we insert that point so we get bx1 minus ay1 plus k is equal to 0 and that k eventually becomes minus of bx1 minus y1 and so we get this equation. Now to solve these equa two equations we have a very simple process of determinants and that also we have studied earlier. So First we will find out the determinants for that case, I use another word. So let this word remain here. So we have AX plus BY plus c is equal to 0 and bx minus ay minus bx1 minus ay1 is equal to 0 so we get determinant d is equal to a b b minus a So it will be minus a square minus b square. Then dx is equal to we will get determinant of b c minus a and minus bx1 minus ay1 so that will go to minus b square x1 plus ab y1 
and minus AC then uh, so we can make it as minus of B square X1 minus ABY1 plus AC is equal to zero, uh, AC okay and here also we can take out this minus sign and we have minus bracket a square plus b square so now dy we will continue on the next board Yeah. Okay. So for that dy, so the equations I'll write it again ax plus by plus c is equal to zero and bx minus ay minus bx1 minus ay1 is equal to 0 so dy determinant is equal to c a minus bx1 minus ay1 b so that will be bc minus abx1 plus a square y1 so we re rearrange it as minus of a B X one minus A square Y one minus B C bracket them. So like that we have this values of B X D D X and D Y and we will get value of x and y so for that i should clean this first board so we will have x is equal to dx upon d so that will be minus b square x1 i hope you have written down on your notebook minus a b y1 plus a c divided by minus of a square plus b square so that minus and minus will be cancelled out i'll cancel it here here itself and i have this value of x and value of i y it is again we will cancel that minus and minus here only we will not write that and we have y is equal to a b x1 minus a square y1 minus 
BC upon A square plus B square. So these are the values of x2 comma y2. And we have to find out means these are the values of coordinates of foot of perpendicular. So this was the given line. So the equation was x plus by plus c is equal to 0. This is the given point whose coordinates are x1 comma y1 and this foot of perpendicular this point we say x2 comma y2 and the coordinates of this point we have now found out here. Now we will use distance formula to find out this length that is the distance of the point from the line. So we will go to the next board. So we have the distance is equal to square root of b square x1 minus a b y1 plus a c divided by a square plus b square minus x1 bracket square plus a b x1 minus a square y1 minus b c whole upon a square plus b square minus y1 bracket copy. So this root sign, radical sign we will extend like this. Everything is under root. So now by inspection you can say that here you will get minus a square x1 minus b square x1. Uh, so, okay. And that square, that will be a big expression. And this minus this square is a big expression. While deriving the things, we have to go through such hectic experiences ah, here I have to explain and such a big expression we will do we will complete this we will square this all sorts of things we are going to do and finally we are going to get one nice expression for that, we have to do all this hectic uh, job. Here, I complete this part of the video till we find coordinates of in center. I think we will take four or five parts till I go for the next video you now have this homework take this ahead first go through this video 
then on your own try to generate all this in your notebook and then go ahead and get the expression for this d simplify this expression i will do it in the next video but till then you people try to do it remember this task is for class 8 to class 8 and class 9 children who have some prior training uh from some iit foundation institute remember students with me they are doing all this students who are in class 9 class 10 they are doing all this and they have been trained the basics in class uh, class 8 itself however now we want to take this having experienced success with my students now we desire to take this to many students to many poor students also in villages who can see this and understand this and go ahead you people are free to contact me on skype and my skype id will be this is my skype id this is my skype id bharat d karmarkar my name is bharat karmarkar and this is my email id learning club pune at the rate gmail dot com if you find this activity useful please give a like please subscribe to my video my channel and till i prepare the next video for you and take this concept ahead kindly do the homework best of efforts thank you